What's up guys, Jens Kersi here from tech for geeks and yes, the LG G Watch is finally here and I can't wait to unbox it for you guys. So this one of the first smart watches to run Android Wear, which is of course the uh, operating system for Android wearables. And as many of you already know, this is one of the first smart watches that Google announced at the IO along with the Gear Live and Moto 360 that of course running Android Wear operating system. But I'm assuming most of you guys are more excited about the Moto 360, right? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm really surprised at how small the box for this is compared to other smartwatches, which is not a bad thing actually. I mean, I like the fact how they're trying to make this as compact as possible. Now, so let's go ahead and cut the seal off. And as we lift the lid, we are greeted with the watch itself. And I've got to say, it actually looks really good and a lot better in real life, especially this white edition. Now, most of the people I know actually ordered the black edition, so I'm really interested to see how it looks like in real life as well. Hiding under the box, we've also got an instruction booklet, a cradle for charging the watch, a charger, and a micro USB cable, so very minimal packaging. And now let's take a closer look at the watch itself. So the LG G watch has a very similar specifications as the Gear Live and it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor clocked at 1.2 GHz, 512 MB of RAM as well as 4 GB of internal storage and 400 mAh of battery which is actually slightly bigger than the Gear Live. It is IP67 certified as well which means this is dust and water resistant and it has 9 axis sensors and is Bluetooth 4.0 ready. In terms of the way it looks, it may look like your typical consumer uh, smartwatch, but it actually feels really durable and has a nice stability once it's on your wrist. The weight isn't too bad either, and it doesn't feel too thick nor too thin. So overall, I think LG did a great job with the ergonomics of the watch. And just to give you an idea how big it is, here's the G Watch next to the Gear 2. And here it is next to the Gear Fit. And last but not the least, here is the G Watch next to LG's Lifeband Touch. So setting it up is actually really weird since there's no power button on this. You will actually need to attach it to the cradle first and then charge it. So it's kind of weird, but I guess that's just how the way it is. And once it's attached, it will turn on automatically. And as you can see here, there is the boot animation for Android Wear. Now the next thing you want to do is to select the language of your choice and in this case we're going to select English, in my case anyway, and then it will ask you to install the Android Wear app on your phone. So once that's installed, you're going to open the app and then press the let's get you set up button. Scroll down, press agree and it's going to look for the watch to pair and it's going to take around 30 to 60 uh, seconds to pair and then it will start downloading the update for the watch and then all you have to do is to just give it another minute or two to install and boot up and you're good to go as i've mentioned this is running android wear os and you will need an android device running android 4.3 or higher in order to use this and when you first boot it up, the G Watch, it's going to walk you through the gestures and voice commands. It's a little boring, but you're going to need it to, you know, just get familiarized with the software. So again, as I've said, it is a little confusing at first because there are so many swiping going on, but this is actually really refreshing in my eyes. Now, I know you don't want to see this, so I'm just going to skip this now and then show you the actual commands. Now, the first one is if you slide down from the home screen. When you slide down from the home screen, that will allow you to mute and unmute the watch. And you can also see the time and, of course, the uh, battery life. Swipe up to show the cards, just like Google Now. And here, you'll be able to see the weather, your notifications your steps, stock exchange, and parcels if you have any. And here, as you can see, I've, it even says that my G Watch has been shipped. So that's kind of cool. So apart from that, you'll probably be able to see more. But for now, these are the ones that I have. 
So let's say you have a notification and if you want to open that on your phone, you can actually just simply swipe to the left and press the open on phone. Or if you want to remove it, just hold the notification and swipe to the right. That also counts to applications, not just for notifications. Back to the home screen, if you want to change the watch face, then all you have to do is to press it for a few seconds and it will open up different watch faces you can use. I'm actually surprised to see a ton of watch faces pre-installed and most of them are actually looking really cool. And I'm sure there will be more available over the time. But for now, these are the ones that are pre-installed uh, to the device. But you know, if you compare it to, let's say the Gear 2 where it's still very limited in terms of watch faces, Comparing it to this, it's actually not bad. So Google really wanted to heavily feature the OK Google voice command on all of their platforms. And that's the same case with Android Wear. So basically what I'm trying to say is that no matter where you go, then OK Google is always going to be next to you, if that makes sense. But anyway, all you have to do is say OK Google and it will launch straight away. And then you can say the usual commands like set the alarm at 5 a.m. or what's the weather like in Sydney. Although just keep in mind that this feature doesn't work if the display is inactive. And although once it's inactive, then you can just say, you know, okay, Google, and it will uh, launch straight away. Um, until now, I'm not really going to be using this feature, especially in public. I think that's going to be really awkward. I mean, think about saying, okay, Google on the train. Don't you think that's going to be really awkward to everyone and they're all just going to be uh, looking at you? But anyway, that feature is there. So if you want to use it, then go ahead and use it in public if you want. So the last thing I wanted to show you is the G Watch Manager. And here you can connect or disconnect the watch and then access the settings where you can mute app notifications, always turn on screen, hide cards and more. And you can also press the button at the top right corner where it will let you pair a new wearable, demo cards, tutorials, help and about. And you can also have the access to the compatible applications which are still very limited right now, which is also something to consider before getting yourself one of these. So, but you know, over the time, once this is fully available to everyone, then there's going to be more uh, third party applications. But for now, these are the only ones that are available. All right, that wraps up this video. And I know it's longer than my usual unboxings, but I thought it would be worth it to walk you through the OS. And speaking of the OS, what do you think of it so far? Also, did you order the G Watch or Gear Live? Let me know in the comments below. Or maybe perhaps you are waiting for the Moto 360. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed this video then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to show some support. And as always, I'm Jens Garcia from tech 4 geeks and I'll see you all in the next one.